Welcome back. I'm Brad. I'm Rach. Our kids are in bed. They're genuinely in bed this time. They haven't been in bed for the last three or four videos, but they are. We have three of them. Yep, we have twins that are two and a half, and baby Eloise is, I don't even want to say it. Almost a year. Almost I'll, 10 months. I'll say it. She's nine months old. You still sound like you have a cold. I do. Poor thing. I uh, know. I'm the last one in this family that is hanging on to this. I just can't. I just love it so much. I just want to keep it forever. Oh, I'm sure it loves you too. Uh-huh. Speaking of kids, we have a family vlog channel. We do. We put our lives out there every day. Every single day. Like it or not. That's not always good. No. <laughs> it is, um, it is interesting. Rachel, <sighs> Ra I don't know how to talk about our phone, but I don't. Rachel's recently gone down a YouTube wormhole, wormhole about family channels. Yeah, there's a... Eye-opening stuff. A very eye-opening stuff. There's a really, really fine line between... Um, Exploiting your children. Yes. Doing things to grow your popularity. Yes. And just living your daily lives and posting that content. Uh... There's also a really, really fine line when you start researching family channels between good ones and bad ones and problematic ones, I guess I should say is what they're called. But um, it's also hard to find like good information on this topic because it's it can get really gossipy. Oh yeah. You know? Well, I'm sure just like some of the family channels are trying to grow their channel, some of these channels that only talk about family channels are trying to grow their channels. Exactly. So it's like, who do you trust? But, I mean, you trust videos that have, like, legit, like, interviews and, like, screenshots of Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that, where... Right, what, what where these they have backing up, said. yeah, backing up what they're talking about. So, there was recently a family on YouTube, everybody knows about it, they were in the news for something fairly negative, or what everybody's perceiving as a negative thing, and I had not heard of this family once before they were in the bad spotlight so to speak, and I was baffled. Baffled? Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. You don't get to use that word often. No. But it's it's a good time to use the word flabbergasted. Yeah. I could not, I couldn't believe what I was reading, I couldn't believe what I was learning about the whole situation, and it just like got me researching this a lot because I got really scared that maybe we were doing something wrong. Well, I think, didn't you look into it because I think we, we, one of the titles of our vlogs was like, stop judging other moms. Yes. And at that and point I had not even heard of this. Because it was like only a week after that yeah, I forgot family that. had, you know, given their son back. Um, by now you probably know who we're talking about, but like people thought that you were talking about her that i was defending her when in reality you were actually only talking about yourself i was not no i was talking about Kristen bell oh, and moms yeah. in general oh yeah that's what it was yes well and you, and you and yourself i i guess but not even i don't even care like i i say i can handle it i can't handle it don't don't criticize my parenting because i can't that's the thing i take the most pride in in my life and you you attack it i will attack you just kidding. I won't. No. I won't attack you. No. I'll she'll, just cry to him. <laughs> exactly. She'll be like, somebody comment, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm and, like, why are you reading the comments? I know. I really get my feelings hurt. So I do not read comments anymore. I say that. And then. Yeah, she still does. Well, no, it wasn't. We stopped getting the notifications in our emails because they would come into our email and I would see part of it and see that like somebody was saying something really mean. Anyway, anyway, this is not about me. I got really nervous that like, what if we're doing something wrong? I wanted to this see- This is not about me. I want to know I if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want, <laughs> I'm worried about me here. <laughs> no, I'm worried about our kids. That's yes. what I'm worried about. Yes. I, I want to make sure that we're not one of those problematic families. I didn't, I, I wanted to see like, okay, I've been totally blissfully unaware this whole time. Of like, YouTubers that get pregnant for views on purpose, or, just or yeah, like adopt or someone suggested fake that illness or something like that. Probably someone. 
when you were talking about wanting baby number four, right? Someone was like, "What's up with these YouTubers all popping out, popping babies. out babies for views or something?" I read that and I was like, "What?" You were Who? flabbergasted again. I was flabbergasted. Who would have a child? Who would have a human child for popularity? That. Is flabbergasting. Probably somebody whose only job <sighs> is YouTube. I can't even fathom that. I feel so bad for those kids. So anyway, you can rest assured that is not our intention. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just so I was my eyes were opened in the last few months to like how vile the YouTube world, specifically family channels, can be. And it makes me want to be really, really careful. If not, stop. That's kind of where I'm at. Because I don't want to. I don't want to unknowingly cross the line. I literally just posted on Instagram tonight some cute. Hey, Ivy. Cute pictures of Eloise's little baby rolls. And I guess I'm unaware of like some big conspiracy thing. I, it, is it is it okay to call it a conspiracy or? Is yeah. It, no. It's a con. It's. I mean, all the articles that I looked at, Pizzagate, all the articles that I looked at said it was a debunked conspiracy theory back in 2016. I guess it's like restarting. So I was, I, we don't really watch the news much. I watch the Today Show every morning. Yeah, but that's sort of like happy. That's not real news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it, it, I haven't seen anything about Pizzagate on it. They probably had something in 2016. Really? Probably. So I'm just like unaware and maybe that's not a good thing to be if we're putting our kids out there. There's only so much stuff that you can learn about. I mean, there's only so many hours in a day. Where you can spend researching. Yeah. I think we try really hard to not show anything that our kids would be embarrassed by. Yeah, I, I do majority of the editing of our family vlogs and anything that I think's borderline I'll edit it out. Yeah, we don't need to post that. Right. We do, I mean, it does probably paint kind of a flowery picture, but if there's anything borderline going on with the kids, like I may kind of vaguely try to talk about my perspective on it. Like say one of the kids is having like a really hard week and they're having like a ton of meltdowns. I'm not gonna film meltdowns. I may not even say, I, I don't know. Well, from my perspective, I feel like most people come to our channel well, for one, hopefully because they're like, we're relatable, but for two, it's like to put a smile on your face. So we don't want to film the kids. Like if they're having a breakdown, like snot running out of their nose, crying, like nobody wants to watch that. So that's I would, I would hope not. Yeah. No kidding. I don't, yeah, I don't particularly like to watch it either. No. And I get to watch it every day. Yes. Because uh, we have toddlers that aren't in control of their emotions yet. They have an underdeveloped amygdala. So exactly. they can't help it, for one. That's not their fault. And anyway. Um, yeah, so I feel like, for one, we're careful about the content that we put out. And maybe that means it's boring. But that's I guess we're okay with that. But I guess what I am worried about is, is there something that we're putting out there that somebody can like take to another level and like they turned off all of the commenting on family channels for the most part somehow missed ours because people were finding like clips that somebody could sexualize I guess like and I think we're also really careful about that and not showing nudity and so do you feel like is there anything that you get judged for that you feels like unfair Yes. The answer is yes to that. Oh, like what? Uh, specifically, I had somebody recently come over to my new channel, which there's a little bit of strategy involved with our new channel. I don't plan on having the kids in it much at all because I, if I for some reason feel like we cannot in good conscience put our kids on the internet at all anymore, this is like a way that I can fulfill this creative outlet in my new channel it's also like there's a lot of videos I wanted to make that just did not make sense on our channel and the, the viewers we can see the demographics of who watches our channel and nobody would care nobody but there is a 
a, like a genre of people that would enjoy that kind of video. So that's, that's kind of the why behind my new channel. Somebody specifically came over to my new channel to tell me that they have never once seen us make the kids pick up. <laughs> I forget about that. And that maybe we shouldn't focus so much on their vocabulary and teach them to pick up after themselves. <sighs> there was also a lot of comments like that on the video where we were decluttering toys. Mm -hmm. We make the kids pick up. It's not just us doing it. It's just not efficient to have a two and a half year old pick up the toys yeah. every single day. Well, hi, Iris. Hey, Iris. But I was just like, why come, <laughs> hey girl, like why come all the way over to my other channel to tell me that I suck as a parent? Come all the way over. All the way over there. Like I gotta walk over there. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was, I was extra offended by them going out of their way well, to tell me that. And like we try to be, we are totally just ourselves on the vlog, which is why I think you know, people feel like they know us. Yeah, that's But, I mean, you're only watching 15 minutes of our day. So... Sometimes, mostly, not even, it's if, like 10. Yeah, so like, if for 23 hours and 45 minutes we're having the kids, like, pick up toys, you don't know that. Nope. Uh, I know it. That's just silly. I know. Whatever. But, we really... I mean, gosh, 99% 99% of the comments are awesome. Well, this person also said, I've seen, like, why the new channel? I've seen you do grocery hauls, what I eat in a days, and, like, list it off, all, clean with me. I, she said, I've seen you do all of these on your regular channel, and I've never once done any of those on a regular channel. So, no. anyway, that whole... I was really upset about that comment until this like about how why don't you make your kids clean up and why do you focus so much on their vocabulary and I took that to heart until this morning I realized how ludicrous that is someone telling us stop focusing on your kids vocabulary and make them clean, and make them pick up their toys are you serious they have the rest of their why lives was I, why was I even hurt by that like they, why did I let that hurt me they have the rest of their lives to clean up their crap and they do this is like the most important time for their development of their brain I know I know but but more importantly we do make them clean up their <laughs> uh, okay all right well sorry it, about I don't, I don't mean to vent on here I feel like I do that. I think people will really appreciate it. Well. And it's good for us to like give our perspective on things every once in a while. As a parent, it's really, I mean, parents just judge other parents. But I, I posted about this on Instagram yesterday about how it, like, different parents have different goals for their kids. And that's okay. Like, some kids, some parents may not care at all about their kids' vocabulary. All they want is for their kid to be kind. And... Like when somebody asked us about that the other day, it made me really think what's our goal for our kids. And so it just, I guess to be astronauts. Yeah. I think I want them to be, I want one of them to be a brain surgeon Yeah, and one to be a, like a NASA astronaut. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Although that'd be kind of lonely. And one to be an actress <laughs> that makes a whole lot of money. <laughs> All right. Well, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Go to our other channel. See see what you think about our family. Take apart our parenting. Yes. Please, Please, in the comments, let us know what we're doing wrong because we want to fix those mistakes. Yes. We're, we'll definitely read your comment. Yeah. We'll take it to heart. <laughs>